Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Today I have a massive collective haul of coloring books and coloring supplies. And when I say massive, I mean I'm hoping I can get through all of it in this video. Also, if I can get through it in this video, there is going to be a special announcement. So let's get started. The first book that I picked up this month, well, okay, so by collective haul, I mean this was like part, the later part of May, most of June, and then a couple of these things just got here at the beginning of July. So, yes, collectively, over the last almost three months, um, I got this Sailor Moon Chibi Girls coloring book off of Amazon, and this book is really cute. I don't know if any of you are familiar with Sailor Moon, um, but there's just really cute chibi pictures from the show or the anime. And then the backs are pretty cool. They have this very light gray pattern on, the, on it. Uh, there is no artist for this book. Well, no, that's a lie. It says by Moon Queen. I don't think that Moon Queen is a real person, and I'm going to say that just based on the English, which is not good in this book. I don't know where these images are from. They look like they're all by the same person or close, um, but it's just a bunch of Sailor Scouts. Chibi form with really cool backgrounds. And I can't wait to color in this book. And then you've got your color test pages. I think there's two or three of them. Two of them. And then it goes right into the book. So there's that one. Oh my goodness, there's nowhere to put anything. Then I found this book. Well, no, that's a lie. I saw it on Misty. Uh, her Misty, which is Instagram Country NCC. And then she has her own YouTube channel now also, which I will leave in the description below. But we shared our Amazon wish lists with each other so that we could get some ideas. And I found this one on hers and I fell in love with this book. So I had to get it right away. And it is gorgeous. The artist is Durian Addict, is the person's AKA. Um, her name is T, where is her name? T Fallon, AKA Durian Addict. So her artwork is gorgeous and I'm really happy to have this book. That looks like Ariel to me from The Little Mermaid. So yeah, I found this book because I looked at Misty's Amazon wish list. She also suggested um, that that would be a good idea for me to do is to leave my Amazon wish list link in the description of my videos so that you guys can get ideas about what I'm looking for. Um, I also have coloring supplies on there too. And all of the, like most of the coloring supplies I either really, really want to try or I need to repurchase them type of a thing. So I think it would be really fun if you guys want to share your Amazon wish list with me. We can take a look and see. Oh, sorry. I'm just like starting a flip through. Um, but we can see, like, get ideas from each other's Amazon wish lists. You know what I mean? Because I found a whole bunch of awesome books that way. So this is Pentagram Creatures Gothic Coloring Book by Rachel Mintz. And this book is awesome. I'd never gotten anything from her before, but I love the style of this book. So it says Pentagram Creatures and then Gothic Coloring Book. To me, this is like mythical creatures. Well, I mean, there's a pirate, but it's like mythical creatures for the most part. Okay, there's a ghost, but like you saw the unicorn, there's like the, I think that's a minotaur, mummy, Aladdin, or genie, sorry. <laughs> Another unicorn, a griffin. So yeah, really like that book. I love the style that it's in. 
Then I had to get Deborah Muller's Freak Show. I saw Nikki and Niagara and Misty coloring in this a whole bunch last month. And I was like, I need it. Deborah Muller is the best. And lately, all I want to do is color her pictures because her pictures are awesome. <laughs> That's funny. So, yeah, love this book. Awesome. Then I got Tiny Kingdom by Leela Alexander. And this book is so pretty. I just loved the whimsical, um, the whimsical pictures that she has in here. Oh, like that one. They're all very beautiful. So, yeah, had to get this book. Sorry if I am rushing this a little bit. I don't feel like I'm rushing it too badly, but I want to get through all these books and the announcement and the coloring supplies. So, I also uh, purchased this Brilliantly Vivid Color by Number Birds and Butterflies book by F. Senaz Bach. Uh, this book was from Amazon, and it was like two bucks. Um, it, as far as I know, didn't say anything about like scratch and dent, but there is definitely some wear to the book itself, but the book itself is totally fine or the pages, sorry. And this is a color by number. And I have one of her other ones. I think it's the Mand flowers and mandalas book. And so, oh, no, nope, don't look at that. <laughs> That has my address. Although, I mean, honestly, if you really want my address to come and hurt me, well, you'll find it some other way, I suppose. But yeah, this book is really cool. So there's the color by numbers. And then she also provides some completed ones to, that you could like cut out in frame or something. Um, she is like a rock artist. So she talks about her artwork in the front of the book and yeah it's a really nice book then I found this one where did I find this was this Amazon too I think it was but it was like super cheap and that's why I got it and also it's cats and flowers so this is a little posh coloring book um, I don't have a normal coloring book right next to me to show you how small but it is here we'll just do this it is smaller and it's really cute it's um these are double-sided yeah these are double-sided but I like the artwork I can color this with pencils or I can decide that I don't care about the page behind the papers semi thin don't think it's Amazon paper though don't stress me out so it's just cats flowers and some some sayings and I just really like it. The art style is adorable. And I love coloring cats and flowers. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, sorry. So that was Posh Cats and Flowers by Susan Black. My bad. Then you may have seen me show the gods and goddesses. I was just showing the back of it. This is by Chinthaka Harith. Harith? and published by Vivid Publishers. This book I saw on a few different channels before I was like, where did that come from? I'm not so much a fan of their other books. Like the Wa Fire and Water one looks cool. The Wild Phantasm looks pretty cool, but the like August Reverie, August Reverie Epic, those ones I'm not so keen on. Not that I don't like them, I just can't see myself coloring in them. So this is just as it says, gods and goddesses. On the one page, it tells you a little bit about them. Is the lighting just like awful today, guys? I am so sorry. It feels like it's terrible. It's the same lighting as always, though. Um, yeah. I really like that one. 
the, how the wings are all spread out. It's mostly goddesses, I think. There's only a few, like, okay. And then we flip right to a god. Um, and there's, like, Zeus in here. Hera. That one is cool. So, yeah. Love this. Then I got the Magical Unicorn Society official coloring book. Um, I feel like this is maybe like a compilation. It's by Sterling Children's Books. Um, illustrations, some are by Harry and Zana Goldhawk. And all others are by Michael O'Mara Books Limited. And this book just goes through uh, the different types of unicorns and then gives you really pretty pictures. The paper in this is very nice. And then it tells like folklore about unicorns. I just thought it was a really cool book. I love unicorns. So, yeah. Must have. And it's really nice. As you can see, it's it's got the foiling on the front. It's, it's just a nice book. I got Mendy Designs Coloring Book by Creative Haven. The artist is Marty Noble. Now, this is two books in one. Um, as you can see, it's much thicker than a normal Creative Haven book. 63 patterns. Um, I think it was like Mendy. I can't remember what the two books were called. But anyway, it's two books about Mendy designs put into one. And I really like these pictures. All sorts of different ones, too. So, yeah. Traditional Henna Body Art and Magnificent Mendy Designs. Those might be the two books that are in one here. So, yeah. Love that. I got Bad Fairies by Deborah Muller. This is one of her newer ones, although now she has a couple of other new ones, but I just love her girls like this. I mean, her other girls are super cutesy and, and I love them, but these ones are so fun to color. They're, you know, kind of more sexier. Is that a word? More sexier? I don't know. They're just really pretty. And I love coloring the hair. Oh, I like that one a lot. And they're just, ooh, look, misbehaving. <laughs> they're just bad fairies. It's awesome. So there's that one. Can't wait to get coloring in it. This one I found, as you can see, at the thrift store. Um, a few weeks ago when they first reopened, I was able to find this book. It is a Jade Summer book. Um, as far as I could tell, it's no longer available on Amazon. It's an older one. I want to say 2015. Oh, 2017. Could have sworn this was an older one than that. But anyway, uh, it's I paid $3.99 for it. Savers is getting so expensive. But I like to shop there because they have all of the stuff in like you know, categories. So yeah, these are just different angels. I like coloring wings. So I thought this would be fun. That one's pretty. Yeah. Really pretty book. Then, of course, I found the new Mystery Colors Jungle Animals book. And I'm so excited. There's the um, solutions at the back. And then it's just the normal 
as we're getting to know Mystery Colors coloring book. So excited. So excited. I hope the tiger is in there. The tiger is like goals. <laughs> like I want to be a tiger or something. It's goals. Uh, then on Michelle's channel, uh, Kits and Caboodles, she showed the Cats and Flowers. This is the volume two, and I love the first volume. So I was like, oh yeah. Sight on scene, had to have. Here's the, the first one. And it's just gorgeous. So this is a double page spread, so I love how they just have that. This says meow. And so it'll usually have a picture of a cat, and at the bottom it'll show the type of flower. This one does not. Ooh, that one's pretty, wisteria. That one doesn't either. The, the cats broke it. Another double page spread. So this one is a little bit different than the first book, but I like that. There's like the normal, what they did in the first book was all the flowers with the names and cats. This one's not quite that like that, but it's it's awesome. Daisies, wild daisies. So yeah, there's Cats and Flowers Volume 2. Oh, I am so sorry. It is illustrated by Eva Carrieri. I, I hope that's close. Then I, because of Nikki and Niagara, found out about Olga Golovskina. And her books are amazing. Her artwork is just out of this world. And so I got three books of hers and I will be getting more. She is a Russian artist. And her artwork is surreal. Is that a, is that a good way to put it? She has real people and animals in outlandish, amazing. Like that's a peacock, bunny, rabbit human <laughs> and that looks to be maybe a jackalope or a cow with antlers I'm not sure so really pretty there's another cool creature of hers and another so there's that one it's called the Queen's monsters werewolves goddesses coloring book then I got Mounts 3. This is the Zodiac um, volume. So different animals of the Zodiac with her other animals. So like that's Scorpio. Oh, that one. I am not sure about all of them. Not sure about that one. Or that one. Leo. Uh, that's like a crawdad or a lobster. Not sure which one that is. Sorry, um, it's the almost the 7th of July and people are still lighting off fireworks here. So that's fun. That's probably Gemini. Taurus. Taurus. And good old Aries. So yeah, this book is cool. And then I got Mounts Volume 1, because you always have to start with one. Oh, yeah, that's right. These are all going this way. So there's, like, chinchilla, lion, and they all are wearing, like, saddles and harnesses and stuff. Really cool. Oh, I like that one. So, yeah, there's all the books. I got through it, you guys. So now I'm going to do my special announcement just in case I run out of time. As you all know, I recently hit 1,000 subscribers, woo! And like best day of my life so far. I wanted to do a small giveaway, but I didn't want to make a video all by itself because people, excuse me, will subscribe to your channel, enter the giveaway, and then unsubscribe. And I want it to go to my actual subscribers whom I love and have become very good friends with. So that being said, um, I'll show you what I'm going to give away and then I will do like rules and stuff like that, how to enter. 
So there's going to be two winners and I've got four books. Um, I just want to say right now, if you're not interested in the books, don't enter the giveaway. <laughs> um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, so the first winner is going to be receiving Cute Witches by Jade Summer. This is not the grayscale uh, version. This is just the normal version. Never been colored in. Brand new book. And then the first winner will also be receiving the uh, Mystery Colors Jungle Animals newest magazine here. I know that um, these are hard to come by in some places, so I thought it would be fun to get an extra copy to give away. Now the second winner is going to be receiving the new Gods and Goddesses coloring book that I just showed. And then also the Flowers Color by Numbers um, Color by Number book. <laughs> Uh, this, these are the ones that have, you know, like the open flap and here's what some of the pages look like in case you haven't seen these books. This, these are really nice books. The paper is nice. The color by number is nice. It's not too overwhelming. Um, and then you get like the completed on the front and the back. So that's what the winners will receive. Like I said, there's going to be two winners. Whoever, um, okay, so, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked here. How to enter the giveaway. You need to be subscribed to me, you need to like this video, and you need to have your, subscri uh, your subscriptions public, because if it's not public, I can't see that you're subscribed to me, and then I don't know if you are or not. Um... I need you to leave me a comment below telling me what your favorite food is, your favorite band or musical artist, and something along the lines of, I would like to enter. Don't I, I don't want you to put giveaway in the comments because that could attract people who are not actually subscribers. So just something like, I would like to enter, please enter me, something along those lines. So your favorite food, your favorite band or musical artist, and then letting me know that you'd like to enter. Uh, the winners will, so today is July the 7th, and by, so on July the 14th, I will get all the comments together, together, sorry, put it in a random generator, and then pick the winner on July 14th. So make sure you're commenting before July 14th. Um, let's see what else. Uh, you have to be 18 years or older to enter. This is open to international people. So not just US, not just Canada, anywhere in the world, as long as I can send mail to you. Um, that's another requirement you are going, if you do win, you will have to provide me with your address, not like in the comments or anything, but when you get a hold of me, you will have to provide that or else I can't send these to you. So yeah. And once you're done commenting and the giveaway is over and the winners have been picked, the winners will need to contact me by email, which is listed on my YouTube channel or it should also be in the description of every video of mine. It, uh, you will need to email me once you win and provide me your address. And then um, I would like to be contacted within three days. So July 14th, July 15th, July 16th, and July 17th. You will have to contact me to let me know, hey, I'm the winner, here's my address, send the book type of thing. Got it? Any questions at all about the giveaway entering process, please let me know. 
Again, if you don't like the books, don't enter because then people who really want the books may not get a chance. Um, you can still leave comments about whatever you like. Just as long as you're commenting and subscribed and liking the video, you'll be entered into the giveaway. Um, I think that's all the information that I needed to provide on that. So yeah, I'm really excited to have hit a thousand subscribers and thank all of you so much because without you guys, I couldn't have done it. Um, it's just really exciting. It's super fun. I now have a community tab so I can talk to you guys that way also. And I think I can do live streams now or something. I'm not a hundred percent sure how all that works, but yeah. So that's the information about the giveaway. Again, you have until July 14th to enter. And now we will go on to the art supplies because I think I have enough time to do that. So I placed my first order from scrapbook.com the other day and I got some cool stuff. First of all, I got this Tim Holtz um, stencil. It's like a, it could either be a spider web or shattered glass, which I think is cool. And I could do a lot of fun things with backgrounds with this, I thought. So, yeah, I got that. And then also from scrapbook.com, I got this Tim Holtz ephemera pack. It, they are die cuts of like Halloween-y stuff. I had wanted this really, really bad around Halloween time last year, and they, my Michaels sold out of them super fast, so I never got it, but now I have them. Then I got some packs of stickles. I got this pack, which has diamond stickles, mercury glass stickles, and then the liquid pearls and white opal oh no my light i just hit it i think in the set at michael's that i got with this the three pack of stickles that i got it did not they don't have the names on them like these do but i think this is still different yeah that's a different color for sure so cool i did not get doubles of that um and the other ones I don't think I got di doubles of. Maybe diamond, but I would love a diamond. Yeah, that one might be the same. But that's fine. See, they don't have uh, names on these that I got in a three-pack. But these three-packs have names. So that's exciting. The glam pack. And then I got the sparkle pack, which is palm leaf these are gorgeous mermaid tail and shocking in the liquid pearls aren't those pretty <gasps> so excited and then the last things that i got from scrapbook.com were just individual stickles so i got cosmic that one's gorgeous there it goes. I got Thistle. I got Cranberry. Honestly, I don't remember getting that one. I might have to check my... Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> then I got a Liquid Pearl accent in Onyx Pearl, which I love black pearls, so... I thought that would be such a cool effect. I was glad they had it. I got Waterfall. Really pretty, kind of like purpley blue. I got Lavender. And finally, I got Mercury Glass. So now I have two of these because I didn't realize that this one had mercury mercury glass i should have looked better because i knew i was gonna get mermaid tail and palm leaf but then i saw this three pack and i was like oh no i'll just get the three pack instead of the individual ones and then somehow that still happened there but that's totally fine i will use them 
So that was everything from scrapbook.com. Like I said, my first time ordering from them. Then yesterday I went to Michael's. Well, or no, 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 I didn't go to Michael's. Today, technically still, I went to Tuesday mornings. Tuesday morning? I always forget. There, I found this one and only lonely pack of stickles here. It looks like there's more mercury glass. There's a gold one that I already have. Oh, nope, that's different. Cool. And then there is silver. So I think, I, yeah, I do already have it, one other silver, but that's fine. I paid $3.49 for this, which I thought was a great deal. I just want to open this and see if it is actually mercury glass. No, no, it's not. This is platinum. It looks very similar to mercury glass. So cool. I don't have three mercury glass sickles. That's awesome. So is this gold? No, this might not be the same either. This is goldenrod and this is one of those that didn't have the name on it. Huh? Okay. Well, look at me go. Look at me go. Um, so yeah, I got that. <laughs> Sorry. And then I got this Tim Holtz washi tape. Kind of some like old looking label type things. I thought it would go great with the die cuts that I got. This was $4.99, a little spendy, but still cheaper than I would have gotten it. And then... I was able to find three more packs of Spectrum Noir markers. I should have gotten the other ones when I was there last time, but I got the blues set. And these are really nice. I tried out my other Spectrum, Spectrum Noir. They're up there and I really like them. I got the warm grays set. And I got the Cool Grays set. And I was shocked that they had these three packs left because these blues and grays seem like they're very popular colors. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I talked to the lady cause she's like, she must own that store and she's there every single time I go in. And so she's starting to know me as the crazy stationary chick. And, um, she said that they should be getting in more of these Spectrum Noir markers. So she told me to check back every week. And I paid $5.99 for each of these. 